chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Holy shit. Dude, I didn't even know that this was a real thing. Holy shit. Dude, you saw him? He just barged right in here and he didn't even say hi or anything. Holy shit. Dude. We just killed Santa Claus. I mean, think, think about the millions of children who aren't going to get the presents. Think, think about the less fortunate. Oh my god. Think of Detroit. Lord knows Detroit really needed a commercialism pick me up. God, we do. Yep. You just killed a very important and a very real Chris Kringle. What are you going to do about it? I don't know. I don't. I. I the, we. We killed Santa Claus. This is very much a we thing here, okay? I just suggested you do something with the bottle. If I told you to jump off a bridge, would you do that too? Maybe. You can be very persuasive at times. Yo, Nick, we should probably get a move on if we don't want to have to skip Detroit again. Oh, shit. Wow, you actually did it. Shit, okay. Wow, okay. Who are you? An intruder and a witness. Relax, buddy, I'm on your side. No, but who are you? The hat, bro. Some drunk mall elf. Oh, nice, great. No, I'm the real deal in the flesh. I mean, he was real. It's possible he, he could be. But you don't think I could be? You think I'm phony because I'm not short and white? Fuck you. Are all elves African, uh, Arctic, Elfian, black? Uh, yeah. Built the workshop in the 60s. 60s? Groovy. No, the 1760s. It was actually really fucked up. But hey, what are you gonna do? It's not like we could leave. Why is he so young? It, and beardless? And not fat, it's just Christmas magic bullshit. I don't know, just go with it. Okay, well you don't seem too upset about this. Nah, I really don't make it my habit to mourn piece of shit racist and I'm not about to start now. <laughs> Honestly, I gotta thank you two for doing all the dirty work. I mean, Shit, look at this guy. But, you know, hey, let's go move on. You, turtleneck, grab the head, you grab the feet. We gotta move the body out of here. Do you expect us to believe you have some sort of pre-prepared plan in case this happened? Well, what the fuck else am I supposed to think of on the job? How many Barbie head dolls I gotta screw on, right? Uh, just stop screwing around, just do what I say. Keith, I think we should do what he says. All right, All right. we got this, ready? Believe I'm getting wrapped up in this shit again. Oh. Gee, that's heavy. I mean, at least he's thinner and lighter than we thought, right? So you had a four rummy? Uh, yeah, what were you expecting? Rudolph and the Red Sleigh? Nobody questions an American SUV. You get in, you get out. That's the work schedule. Wake the fuck up, it's 2013. Really? 7 Eleven? What the fuck is this gonna do for us? The guy behind the desk. I know him. You know, he owes me a favor because I hooked him up with a wood chipper for Christmas five years ago. Ironic, right? Uh, yeah, Santa thought it was a terrible idea, but I gave him a couple of eggnogs and he, I swear to God, that guy will go for anything. You should ask him about his tattoo. He used to have a tattoo. I'll be right back. So, so I got the body out of the back of your truck. Oh. Christmas fucking magic, man. Just go with it. What do we do now? Go back to our normal lives. Normal lives? We've been running around town with a very dead and supposedly real holiday mascot. Uh, who, I don't know, maybe six billion people are relying on. I really don't know what you mean by normal. What are you gonna do? Don't worry about what I'm gonna do. We're in the business of breaking into six billion homes in one night. You carry a backup or two. Jesus. Look, go home, go to sleep, keep the car, keep your mouth shut. Merry fucking Christmas. Keith, that was really messed up. No, Keith, I'm being serious. Like, that was really messed up. So, what happened happened. If you need to, talk to Shrink about it, it'll be okay. Yeah, cause uh, fucking Shrink's gonna believe that we just murdered what was supposed to be a fictional character who goes in children's houses late at night and gives them presents. You'd be surprised what people believe.
And on the charge of murder in the second degree of the Tooth Fairy, we find the defendant, Keith Not guilty. Order! Order! You'd be surprised. Two for two. For oh, the most wonderful time.